Well, well hey, just out on a nice fall ride here. Taking Bonnie out for a spin. I guess for a lot of folks it's uh, season wrap-up time. It's getting to the end of November now. What is it, the 25th or something like that? I've got uh, I've got the GR here insured until 22nd of November, so I'll still be able to ride her a little bit. And then I've got the CRF insured for the full year, so I can ride that throughout the winter whenever weather allows, and it should. It usually does. Yeah, this year has been. Uh, been a bit different for me that's for sure I haven't been riding in the hills as much as I normally would nowhere near the amount and maybe some of that is because it's because I bought the second bike here and was uh, doing a lot of work with it but I, I think that uh, I also kind of lost a little bit of enthusiasm for going up in the hills and it's just temporary but seemed to be the way it was working for quite a bit of the summer. And it might have been the novelty of having this uh, road bike that handles so much different than the CRF on the tarmac. So that was nice to play around with and enjoy. I was just saying to my wife this morning, I'd like to live out this way, but a little further out. I'll show you where. This road um, eventually just dead ends in a park, a mountain park. But there's lots of beautiful places to live, overlooking the uh, Lake Okanagan there. It has a pretty good vibe out this way. I like it a lot. On the surface of it, I can't afford it, of course, but um, you never say never, right? Yeah, so temperature today is uh, comfortable. It's about almost 10 degrees. That's pretty good. End of October. Lots of big uh, family-oriented parks around here. Uh, this one to our right, Bertram Creek Park. It's quite extensive. My favorite is one coming up though, Okanagan Mountain Park. It's, uh, it's really huge and uh, as its name implies is quite mountainous get some real serious hiking and backpacking in there still is quite gutted from the fire of 2003 though as you can see along the roadside here some as we get up here a little bit more you'll see uh, quite a bit that's um, 13 years ago now, but it, boy, it seems like yesterday. If you're hearing a little bit of whine every now and again, kind of like a howling, it's my tachometer. I have to get a new one. But I'll get those little gauges, you know, the, the small ones, the, the mini Speedo and tack, and then I'll do away with that console there. Can you hear it? Yeah, there it is. Nice, eh? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll do away with that console and uh, just uh, do the little mini Speedo and Tack and then I'll get a, um, uh, a, a new headlight. Something larger, you know, a little bit more long. This one's kind of a squashed design because they tucked it in under the console kind of thing. I can't see it from here. Not really. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get something a little more retro. And then with the uh, new gauges, I'll be able to see the headlight out there. 
Yeah, so you know, you can see the uh, what the fire did here and how long in a place like this it takes to regenerate with our dry weather. Yeah, so all that area burned out and uh, it just went for so many miles. As far as the eye could see, went into town, burned uh, 250 some odd homes down it was pretty bad. So this is a great area and uh, I'd like to live out in this type of an area here along this along this route. There's uh, homes further down that way. That'd be very cool. So yeah there's that headlight. Yeah, you can see it's that squash variety and I just want you know a bullet style headlight coming out there in smaller gauges. Clean up this area. New brackets. This is a really beautiful area. And now that the winter's coming on, at least I'll be able to ride out this way, probably throughout the winter on the CRF, because we're not too high up here. Just got to watch for icy stuff on the road that you won't find in town because of the influence from the lake here. And it gets a little shaded in some sections. But uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Enough areas to ride. Can't get really out of town too much though because then the roads climb and then you get ice and snow. Not to mention frozen fingers. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? One thing I gotta do with this bike in the spring is stiffen up the suspension. Uh, the front forks. The back is not bad. It's got a mono shock and it has a hydraulic preload adjuster which works not too bad. But the front is is too soft. It's air assisted but you know still could be the fluid is low but I have a feeling I'll, uh, I'll be taking them apart and then you know, checking out um, the springs, maybe put in uh, some better springs, some progressive springs or whatever, along with uh, some fresh oil, new seals, lots of muddy stuff on the road. Nice tack, eh? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, thank you. Shut up now. I should have disconnected it. Oh well. I'll leave it connected and it'll annoy the hell out of me and motivate me to get new gauges faster.